For many years, the whole of Africa has experienced a series of devastating famines due to drought. Politically, the whole of Africa is no stranger to conflict at all levels. Key security challenges have confronted the region for many years. From threats of human and arms trafficking to piracy, radicalization and terrorism. The activities of the Al-Shabaab militants in Somalia and efforts by terror group ISIL to expand its foothold in the region remain a threat. It is because of all these uh, uh, issues that we find that the Horn of Africa becomes an important uh, region for any uh, global player. The situation has been further heightened by the growing refugee crisis. Environmental challenges arising from climate change have only worsened poverty in the Horn. Analysts say enhancing and sustaining security in the Horn of Africa requires a collective approach. International relations experts of the view that concerted effort must be made across the region to address human security concerns and to invest and uplift livelihoods, in particular the underlying causes of radicalization and violent extremism, which they say must be confronted and surmounted. The COVID-19 pandemic has also complicated the region's path to peace, development and good governance. But there seems to be hope on the horizon as China has appointed Xu He Bing as its new special envoy for the Horn of Africa. China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi during his visit to Kenya made it clear that China was keen to play a key role in diplomacy in the Horn of Africa. China is coming to the Horn uh, uh, differently, if you may like, with the other major players. China's history with Africa is different. And so China, um, as we speak today, many governments in Africa and many leaders, including the Horn of Africa, uh, are finding China, uh, if you may like, a better uh, uh, player in terms of helping them uh, to spy economic uh, development. But as efforts to address security, development and governance challenges continue, experts say the future of the Horn of Africa no longer lies inland, but also within its territorial waters and oceans. Daniel Arab Moy, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.